Howdy. Hello, everybody. And welcome to Saints for Difficult Times. Light of Christ in today's world. And my name is Alex Barraza. I am the founder of Jornaleros Ministry. And my name is Ana Barraza. And I am the creator of Catholicus with a focus on adaptive catechesis and evangelization. And Jornaleros Ministry encourages young people to witness their faith through acts of charity. So we're very excited today. We are coming to you live from uh, our Studio B here um, uh, in California. And we want to talk to you about our special saint today. We certainly have a special friend that we're going to talk to, um, chat a little bit about today. And her name is St. Catherine of Siena. And actually today is her feast day. Mm -hmm. We need so. to celebrate, right? And St. Catherine of Siena is, is one of our favorite saints um, as a um, family. Um, when we met her um, some years back, I met her in um, Fresno, when I was in Fresno. That's the first time um, I learned about her. I hadn't learned about her before. Probably just heard her name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, of course, right? But uh, we never, I had not met with her. And um, uh, um, so she lived in, and okay, and so this is the hard things, okay, in memory, memory. She lived in the 14th century. Yes. And Siena is in Italy. Yes. And she was born in um, a time when there was a pandemic, just like we are living. She was the 25th child. She has 24 siblings, and half of her siblings didn't make it out of um, childhood, didn't survive childhood. It was a difficult uh, time back then. But nonetheless, she was a strong woman of faith. She was someone that kept on um, living her faith and uh, believing in her faith. So she's a strong woman of, um, of faith that um, uh, um, through her, um, uh, what I have learned about her, it was her devotion to meditation in God's word that kept her going. And we want to say hi. We want to take this time to wave at uh, the NCPD in Spanish, mm -hmm. uh, Mari Mesa, and also to Kara. Hello to hi, everybody Kara. who's here. Mm -hmm. um, well, a little bit more on St. Catherine. Also, when she was seven, she started having these visions of mm -hmm. Jesus. And the first one of the first visions she had is of Jesus who appeared with uh, St. John the Evangelist too. Mm -hmm. And so she had already decided to be a virgin and not to get married, but the parents wanted her to get married at 12 and she refused. Mm -hmm. And later she became uh, a Dominican tertiary actually, and wanted to stay home, pray, uh, do sacrifices, don't talk to anybody. Awesome life, right? I want to do that. I want <laughs> to do like that Sounds like the too. pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do a pandemic. Uh, but, uh, and then you, wouldn't you know, but there was a play going on mm -hmm. at that time. And mm -hmm. also the church was uh, not doing well. There were two popes at the same time. One was in France, the other one was in Rome. So throughout his vision, her visions, St. Catherine found out that Jesus wanted her to go out, out of her house, out of her comfort, and go and do something, talk to the Pope, and convince the Pope to go back to Rome to, to restore the church again. So she starts going out of her comfort zone and out into the world, basically, to try to make all these connections. Imagine, like, how do you start talking to the Pope, right? So you need to make the right connections. One of the things that I love about her story is that when she was a young, um, well, young adult, um, right in her uh, 20s and earlier, um, she was so devout to our Lord Jesus uh, she, um, in her prayer life that um, she felt in her heart that she needed to give away everything. And, uh, and lo and behold, she gave away everything that was in the house. It wasn't hers, but it, was, it belonged to the house, and she was a generous soul that wanted to do God's will and through her um, prayer um, uh, she just said I want to give out uh, give away uh, what God has given us the blessings that God has given us and, and because in our ministry we say Let, let's do acts of charity I mean she's a perfect example of, of that charity that is true uh, one of the things that uh, got my attention when I first started reading about St. Catherine was her passion mm -hmm. for the spiritual life because I, I always want to work on my spirituality. I always want to um, keep going. 
and, and just learn more, trigger my prayer life in a different way. So reading out St. Catherine, which I, of course, encourage everybody to do, um, just touched me very deeply, and I started learning more about her and how she would relate to God. So that is your challenge today. But I want to focus in something that she comes as a conclusion, that charity binds men with God and God with man. Mm, men as profound. in yes, mm -hmm. as in human being. Mm -hmm. So in God binds yeah. himself through charity with us. Mm -hmm. And if we want to bind ourselves to God, we do it through charity. And how does charity look like? Well, it can be look like an act of charity and like what we were talking last week actually is that you can do acts of charity with, by word, by prayer, and by action. So that is our call for you today mm -hmm. to come and do um, an act of charity out of love for God. Mm -hmm. And not wait until um, uh, it's too late until we come out of um, uh, maybe some of you are still not able to go out um, into the world just of yet. But um, actual charity can be done right here, right now where we are, right? We can always um, give of ourselves um, through a phone call. We can always give of ourselves um, by, there's a lot of um, organizations that need our economic support or even um, acts of charity by, um, we had a, an event where kids made cards for the hospital. Right, so acts of charity don't have to be um, out there if you cannot do it. If you can wear your mask or take precautions and do it, acts of charity can happen right now. I, I want to say, um, for me, I mean, for for um, uh, for me, um, Catherine Osiena is a very strong woman. Um, she's a woman um, with a fierce love for God, and her. She was not afraid of being who she was, so she could go in front of people and say, I've been praying, I have this calling, and I'm serving God through her. Um, what she did, she brought um, the church back to Rome, and, and she, she also, um, through her example, um, she quelled a lot of uh, political problems in little towns. So those, those, that was um, charity be putting herself in front of people so they could have um, a good relationship and I know moms I was reading her story and I was reminded of moms moms are like the perfect example of bringing charity when there's a lot of uh, division in the household well that's too um, yet moms seem to be more natural in doing that mm -hmm. so we say hi to Josue and Aurora or Aurora mm -hmm. I can I, yeah Sorry if I mispronounced someone's name, but oh. hi. <laughs> so our, our challenge for you today is an invitation, an invitation for you to do, to be united to God, to be bound to God by your acts of charity. So when you do that, just do it with that intention of uniting yourself to God uh, out of love for Him. And then if you wanna throw in a um, um, little prayer, to St. Catherine it says, St. Catherine of Siena, pray for me so I can be united to God through this act of charity out of love for Him. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself out there. Um, uh, we don't have to be a mystic and we don't have to be um, uh, um, in that um, experience, yet we can all be uh, Christians that want to be disciples of our Lord and say yes to witnessing our faith and saying, I want to um, do an act of charity through my actions, through my words, um, through prayer, and we can we can all be uh, saints for difficult times, pun yes. intended. Yeah, <laughs> in out there in in the world in our in the realities that each of us live. Yeah, especially right now, uh, as the pandemic is uh, well in some states over, and others uh, we're coming out like in uh, here in California, we're barely getting. Um, people coming out we have 25 percent in churches attendance like uh, in person i know that there are other places that are already open but um as you go out into the world again and into your own life um don't forget that this time that god gives you is not only for me to go yes it's good to visit your family want to do your goals and everything but 
in those goals. Don't forget to, to do it out of charity, out of love. Yes, I want to go and see my mom, not because uh, it pleases me, but maybe because my mom wants to see me. Try to please others. Try out of love for God, and then He will bless you with a bond uh, between you and Him, and it's going to be beautiful. So. And then also um, offer it up to the Lord. Take that moment and say, you know, I'm going to do this act of charity, and I'm going to pray and pray for somebody that needs uh, your prayer. I'm going to do this act of charity on behalf of um, Anita, my wife, um, my children, so they can come to know the Lord. So use this opportunity also to offer yourself to the Lord completely through these acts of charity. So we want to invite you to close up our time together uh, with this song, which was uh, the servant song. It's one of our favorite songs. But it truly touches the 